Now we're receiving a live video from Orion from inside the crew module and one of the flight test cameras. Three minutes away from entry interface. Orion uh, right on track, it's guidance perfect. We may be uh, experiencing a uh, telemetry uh, loss of signal uh, during a, a brief blackout period after entry interface when uh, the plasma effects uh, begin to build around the spacecraft. That uh, may uh, begin at an altitude of about 374,000 feet, may continue up until about 151,000 feet, but this is a variable and uh, we'll stand by to see if in fact we do lose any data during this brief blackout period and if so, for how long. Everything quiet here in the uh, flight control room. Flight controllers uh, under the direction of Mike Serafin, uh, the lead flight director, uh, watching their data. Inside two minutes until entry interface. Orion now 132 miles above the Earth, range to splashdown 1,200 miles, 11 minutes until splashdown. Coming up on one minute until entry interface. Standing by for entry interface. Orion now at an altitude of 470,000 feet, 900 miles from its splashdown target. Guidance officer confirms that Orion has reached entry interface. The moment of truth for Orion for the next 9 minutes 45 seconds. And as expected, uh, we have uh, reached a uh, loss of uh, telemetry as we enter this uh, brief blackout period. Uh, at the time of the blackout, uh, the flight dynamics officer reported uh, that all of Orion's systems uh, looked perfect. This is uh, the point in time uh, where Orion uh, would be uh, experiencing its peak heating of some uh, 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit as it barrels uh, through the Earth's atmosphere. Traveling uh, about 20,000 miles an hour, some 84% of the velocity of a spacecraft returning from the moon. We're four minutes away from the uh, jettison of the forward bay cover at the very top of the spacecraft that will begin uh, the shoot deployment sequence.
And we've uh, reacquired uh, signal from Orion. Good data being processed. This view from the Icana uh, unpiloted airborne uh, vehicle over the Pacific Ocean, over the splashdown zone. Time to splashdown, seven minutes. Range to splashdown, 127 miles. And now this view from Orion, its thrusters uh, maintaining control. Flight Dynamics Officer reports that we're tracking right down the middle. And this view again from the Icana aircraft over the splashdown zone. Orion at 125,000 feet. Healthy thruster system reported by the propulsion officer here in Mission Control. Passing through 80,000 feet. Range to splash down about five miles. passing through 60,000 feet. Orion has gone subsonic. Standing by for forward bay cover jettison. Thirty five thousand feet. That view of Orion from the Akana. Twenty five thousand feet. Time to splash down less than four minutes. Forward bay cover has been deployed. Drogues have been deployed. Great video from the Akana. Fifteen thousand feet until splashdown. Coming up on main chute deploy. From a waypoint over the Pacific Ocean, there is your new spacecraft, America. Drogues away. Main chute deploy. On mains, everything looking good. Good reefing reported. Four thousand feet. Three good main shoots reported uh, from the USS Anchorage. That's confirmed here in Mission Control. 
from a high speed rate of uh, 20,000 miles an hour to a gentle return back to Earth more than four hours and 20 minutes after it took off on a Delta IV heavy rocket from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Thirty two hundred feet now until splashdown. Twenty two hundred feet now. Winds uh, at the surface uh, just about twelve knots. Wave heights uh, no more than about four and a half feet or so. Perfect conditions for Orion's homecoming. This view uh, from Orion itself uh, of the chutes, helping it uh, to descend gently towards uh, its splashdown in the Pacific. 1,000 feet. Just a few hundred feet until splashdown. One hundred feet. We have splashdown. Splashdown confirmed at 10.29 a.m. Central Time. Orion is back on Earth. America has driven a golden spike as it crosses a bridge into the future. And we now have confirmation that Orion is stable one, upright. Orion splashed down at a mission elapse time of four hours and 24 minutes. And the uh, crew module uprighting system uh, is now being activated. These are the five inflatable airbags at the, uh, at the top of the spacecraft to ensure that Orion remains in an upright position. And you can see it uh, on the water. The Flight Dynamics Officer now has uh, provided a final splashdown uh, target in the Pacific with a latitude of 23.6 degrees north latitude, 116.46 degrees west longitude, a bullseye splashdown for America's newest spacecraft. Splashdown occurring once again at 10.29 a.m. Central Time, 8.29 a.m. Pacific Time, at a point uh, some 270 miles or so west of Baja, California, about 630 statute miles southwest of San Diego.
tracking of data. And there you can see in the uh, in the mission director's uh, room at Hangar AE at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, smiles, exuberant celebration. Uh, Orion's maiden flight from start to finish was picture perfect. Significant milestones achieved for the Orion program as we move forward uh, towards uh, future steps that will ultimately take us to Mars. But this day belonged uh, to the team uh, all the way around Lockheed Martin, United Launch Alliance, NASA, all of the contractors involved in the development and testing of Orion for what uh, turned out to be the most perfect flight you could ever imagine in a first flight of a vehicle that was being tested, a brand new vehicle launched on a Delta IV rocket, a splashdown right on target in the Pacific Ocean, a significant milestone for America's space program.